Hey y'all, welcome to the YouTube channel. I made this quick video just to answer a question that we get all the time. How do you clean the inside of a 60 foot flower silo? Well, there's a couple of different methods that you can use, but our preferred method is dry ice blasting. That's me, Zach Cato. I'll drop my info at the end of the video. But uh, for now, let's get right into it. See, we use a classic tripod and winch method to gain access into the silo. Anytime you're dealing with confined space, there's a lot that goes into just entering the space, like air monitoring, permits, ventilation. But for this video, I just wanted to focus on the dry ice blaster. So I have my self-retracting lifeline set up because I go down on this platform, which is a really nice surface to stand on. It's a flower silo, so all that white is just is flower, and we call it bin scale. Uh, bin scale happens just flower that's stuck to the wall during the loading process. Uh, nothing you can really do to avoid bin scale, but you do have to clean it pretty regularly. It's about a 60 foot silo. So here we go with the blaster. You can see that the dry ice does a good job of cleaning the bin scale off. We've obviously ramped up the video speed to give you an idea of the end result. But uh, typically a silo this size will take every bit of a 12 hour day to clean. Uh, you can see that it does an excellent job of, of getting in like the tight spaces, like that welded seam right there. And it, uh, it actually does a good job of cleaning the seal a little bit quicker than the walls do. I'm not too sure of the explanation for that one, but it, I don't mind it. There's a quick shot of the PPE there. Nothing but a uh, full face respirator, dust cartridges, and a, uh, a full Tyvek suit. One of the reasons that dry ice blasting is the preferred cleaning method is we don't have any secondary waste. Uh, any kind of quality assurance people, they love the fact that we don't introduce any contaminants into the silo. So that means once we're done, we've cleaned it from top to bottom, all we have to do is vacuum the flour out of the very bottom of the silo, and that's it. There's nothing else to clean up. So that's always a big perk, and definitely saves some time when, when cleaning these silos. And you can see that we're, we're creating dust during the blasting process, and that's really all there is to clean up. So here I am about halfway down the silo on my bosun chair. It's not quite as easy as blasting from the platform up there. You see there's a nice clean shot of the whole top of the silo that I cleaned from the platform, but if you're going to clean the entire silo, you have to get on the chair at some point. So you can see that the, the buildup is, is not as consistent as it was up top. There's a lot of spaces that don't have any buildup at all. Um, that, the main reason for that is the, the buildup cleans onto the imperfections in the metal at this point. Okay, there I am. I got my work winch attached to my chair and my lifeline is still attached to my back. And I am just hanging there in space. So, the buildup at this point really clings to the imperfections in the metal along welded seams and things like that. And it's imperative to get that flour removed from those imperfections because any quality assurance person or sanitation department will tell you that if there's any little nooks and crannies, that's where any bugs would try to hide also. Here's a nice shot of the top once everything is finished. Everything's nice and clean. We've vacuumed everything out of the bottom of the silo. Um, typically we'll do swab tests at this point and that's a job well done. Well thank you all for watching. Blackwells Incorporated cleans silos and does dry ice blasting all over the southeast so if there's any questions or you have any comments about the video feel free to reach out. That's my information there. Again, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave us a like. Click on the subscribe button. We've got projects going on all the time, so I'll upload new videos as they come. Again, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.